Yo, what's going on guys? It's Adamo here and today I'm basically going to be bringing you a video on how to play as the Spence Nas operators and what attachments to use for their guns. As you can see here, the first one we're going to be starting off is with Capcan. Capcan has three Capcan placements, so you can place them anywhere you want. You mostly want to place them in places where the other team wouldn't expect them to be. And here we're going to show you what exactly they do. So you can basically put them high, low on any doorway that you want. Once you place them down, I get away because if you're next to the explosion when it happens, it can kill you. And if an en if an uh, enemy walks into it, boom, they die. Pretty good operator, not hard to play as at all, and helps your team a lot. Next person we're going to get into is Glass. As you can see, you can see people from extremely far ranges, and when you see an enemy player, you do see them with thermal on. So it, it's pretty good. You do see them with thermal. And you can shoot, like, as far as the map can go. There's no limits. And if you have a perk of throwing a smoke bomb, so the enemy cannot see you, but you can still see them, and that's mostly how you're going to want to get most of your kills with Glass. Pretty good operator, not hard to play as. Next one we're going to get into is Tachanka. Tachanka has a huge LMG with a shield. Bad factor is that the shield can be shot out, and the gun has tremendous recoil, as you can see here. So it's pretty hard to control his gun, but you'll get used to it after a while. Last person we're going to get into is Fuse. Fuse is probably one of the best, easiest operators you can play as because he does a lot of damage to the other team and just overall not a lot of skill required. As you can see, I'm putting a Fuse on the wall right there and I'm going to have my friend come back just to show you exactly what it does do. Shoots out five grenades and it basically damages everything in the area. Now I'm going to have my go friend go stand over there again. I'm going to blow it up and see what happens when people are near the fuse everything just gets obliterated so it's a pretty good way to clear out a room or just help your team in ranked now we're gonna get into attachments we're gonna be doing glass first as you can see his snipe rifle and there's not many things you can do you can adjust the barrel and the sight me personally I I prefer um, reflex on it I don't like red dot or holographic I feel like they don't match the snipe rifle I think reflex is probably your best option and for the muzzle break I use a flash hider just because I think it makes it the lowest possible recoil and and it's just better than suppressor and yeah that's basically it for glass's gun now going to his secondaries you have the gh and the pmm the pmm is probably the best pistol in the entire game it does about 60 damage and it's a two shot and then you have smoke and claymore i would use smoke just because it makes you the advantage that you can see through the smoke and the enemies can't see you now going on to fuse you have a shield you have the ak and you have the uh, 6p41 I hate the 6P41, I think it's horrible, I think one of the worst guns in the game. The AK is okay, it has a lot of recoil, but the shield is also pretty good if you use the PMM, it's pretty overpowered. And then you have the breaching charge and the smoke, I think you'd be using breaching charge, I think that's the best for fuse. Now going on to the next operator, we're going to be doing Capcan. Capcan, submachine gun, is one of the best guns in the game, because it just doesn't have a lot of recoil at all and does a decent amount of damage the shotgun's okay i wouldn't vibes using the shotgun but the submachine gun's very good then and once again you have the pmm i think you should be always be running the pmm and then you have nitro cell and barbed wire either one works because you're not going to be roaming so whatever one your teammates think will help them the most i think that's the one that you should be using now going on to the last and final operator is tachanka tachanka has the same guns as capcan has the shotgun and the submachine gun i would advise the submachine gun and yeah, I run Compensator, Angled Grip, and Red Dot. I think those are the best attachments. Um, then you have the PMM and the GH. PMM is a lot better. And then you have Shield and Barbed Wire. I would, either way, whatever one helps your team, like I said, again, you're not really a selfish operator. But I would go with Chachanka just so you can't get shot from low when you're using the gun. And uh, yeah, guys, that's been the video. That's how you play Spence and Oz operators and the attachments for them. I will be uploading daily on this channel, Rainbow Six Siege content. I would love to get this channel to a huge subscriber base. It's been Audible, guys. Peace.